I'm standing here beside one of our common hickory trees. Um, this one happens to be Caria tomentosa. So that is mockernut hickory is the common name. And one thing I want you to notice about a lot of our hickories have this very distinctive furrowed pattern. I think of it as looking like the bark is braided, but some people describe it as an XY, um, XY pattern to the bark. And so you can see how some of these ridges kind of make a diamond shape or uh, maybe an XY um, type pattern as you look up the tree. So that's something that should pull you in in the wintertime to know that this is a hickory tree. So this is Caria tomentosa, and that's mockernut hickory. All hickories have compound leaves, right? So if you're looking at the bud here, right? So this entire structure here, this entire structure here is the leaf, and I'm gonna break one off. You can see that um, the terminal bud for hickories is very large, so that's something that you can know hickories by. And then this is an example of the compound leaf. So mockernut hickory, you can sometimes tell differences between hickory depending on how many leaflets it has. And so I have the rachis here, it's pinnately compound where there's a central stem that holds the leaflets, right? So this is the rachis. And then the leaves are attached on either side. Um, sometimes the number is distinctive and mockernut hickory usually has leaflets of sevens or sometimes nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaflets. You can also notice for most hickories that the, the terminal leaf or the one at the end um, is often the largest leaf. And um, the leaves are a little bit fuzzy and they have a slightly serrate or toothed margin, but that's not something that you're really gonna notice about that leaf. I rarely, rarely look at the leaf margin to identify hickory trees. Instead, I count the leaflets. And then with mockernut hickory, you can see that the rachis is fairly large. It's not skinny. And it's covered with this fuzz, this fuzzy pubescence, right? So these are woolly hairs. And we would describe this rachis as tomentose. So that leads to the scientific name Caria tomentosa. And I don't know if you can see the texture of the rachis as I'm holding it up to the camera, but it's often enough that if I look up into the tree, I can see that roughness um, of the rachis and I can tell even if I can't get to the leaves that we have Caria tomentosa. So another really distinct thing about Caria tomentosa is if you rub the hairs on the rachis and sniff them, they have a very great hickory smell. It's very odiferous. So, um, very strong smell, whereas other species of hickory don't have that so much. And the leaves also on Caria tomentosa are also um, fuzzy on the undersides, so that's another distinctive thing as well. A last distinctive feature of Caria tomentosa are the hickory nuts. So this is the husk that is on the outside of the, um, that encloses the nut, right? So hickories have nut fruits, and in this one you can see that that husk is about a quarter inch thick. So mockernut hickory is about a quarter of an inch thick and that's a very distinctive character um, that helps tell it apart from pignut hickory or red hickory, right? So those have much skinnier, right? They're just very thin husks. This is quarter inch, um, but not really larger than a quarter inch. So that separates it from shagbark hickory, which has much thicker nuts. So, um, so Caria tomentosa, tomentose means fuzzy or hairy, so it's covered, the rachis is covered in coarse hairs, and the end of the side of the leaf is too. And this hair, this hickory and other hickories are in the Juglandaceae family, Juglandaceae, which is the hickory or walnut family. So, and tomentose means um, hairy, and that's what I have to tell you about mockernut Hickory. Hickories do have a really hard wood use. Um, they are, the, hick, the wood is very hard, so it's prized for uh, things like um, tool handles, right, where the wood is really durable and tough. It's also prized as an aromatic wood for cooking. So hickory wood, um, or pecan is in the same family, is also got um, use and prized for barbecue. So that is Caria 
Tomentosa in the Juglandaceae family.